The National Grahamstown Arts Festival is in full swing after it was officially opened last night. Now, one of the special features at this year's National Arts Festival is the presence of the Russian Embassy, who are hosting dialogues and debates and interactions with various artists to share their expertise on ways in which artists can improve their craft and how to grow the art and culture industry here in South Africa. Our reporter, Lorato Tipa, is in Grahamstown, and we now cross over to her for more. Lorato, once again, a very good morning. Tell us what's the latest there and what we can expect. It seems like everybody's very happy coming to the Grahamstown Festival this year. Yes, uh, Gramstown has literally come alive. The small town in the Eastern Cape is literally now a buzz of activity. What's really been beautiful about this festival throughout the years is that it draws people from all over the world, from Russia, from UK, from America. People just here to come and see the various art genres that this country has to offer. And joining us this morning is Alexandra Khalif, who's from Russian Embassy, to tell us exactly why they are here and some of the word they're going to share with the South Africans as well. Now, um, this is a national arts festival. I'm sure you're here for the first time. Can you just take us briefly as why are the Russians felt the need to come to this specific festival and what the purpose of the visit is as well? Well, obviously, Russia and South Africa uh, enjoy a very friendly relationship. We have a fantastic uh, cooperation at the high political level, but the cultural dimension uh, still lacks a bit. So we came here to further this, to uh, bolster the cultural ties. Uh, this is very important because uh, the culture is what brings people together, what, what brings nations together. And well, the National uh, Arts Festival is the prime event of the year, obviously. So we wanted to showcase something of the Russian culture. Uh, we, are, we brought some movies with us. Uh, we are screening uh, Soviet classics and we are screening uh, uh, Russian contemporary motion picture uh, production. Uh, we're also bringing uh, people from the international uh, Russia Today channel, English-speaking channel. Uh, you might know like Paula Slyer, which was an SAP. Uh, a South African-born citizen and also some people from the Moscow HQ, they will be participating in the ThinkFest uh, panel discussions, talking about journalism, talking about what it means to be a reporter in uh, our nowadays reality. So that, that should prove interesting. And we've also brought a photo uh, exhibition uh, by the ambassador of the Russian Federation to the Republic of South Africa from his personal archive. Uh, some photos like showcasing uh, some exotic, probably, uh, scenes like Moscow in snow, uh, but also something very dear to South, to, to South Africans like uh, Cape Town, some ex experimental graphic photos, and uh, an interesting exhibition uh, on the Robben Island, which is uh, a sort of tribute to those who uh, thought, fought apartheid at the time. Uh, it's very interesting. It's done as if through the eyes of the prisoners of Robben Island. So come and see. And now you've been here only for about two days. Um, this is a small town in the Eastern Cape, but obviously you can see it's a buzz of activity right now. How have you found the people and the culture here in Grahamstown? Oh, the town is really coming to life now. People are coming fr from all over the country, all over the world. Uh, you know, like, uh, the Rhodes University is the centerpiece of the town, obviously. And there is, a, you know, like, a creative vibe coming from students and young generation and young people. So this is, this is a very positive fe feeling. I, I look forward to what this uh, festival will bring us. And then lastly, Russia is obviously known for its huge cultural festivals. What do you think the partnership or the in dialogue between South Africa and Russia is going to do to the arts and culture industry here in this country? Uh, well, uh, I have a bit of a spoiler, although it was announced at some point. So Russia and South Africa are working uh, on establishing uh, cultural seasons, so, so to speak. Our ministries of cultures um, are hard uh, at negotiations, at talks, uh, working out the details. But it, what it means, it means that uh, we are bringing more Russian culture, more Russian artists uh, to South Africa. And uh, more South African artists, music, musicians, uh, 
uh, painters, uh, uh, they will be showcasing their uh, yeah. creations in Russia soon. So it's obviously uh, still work in progress, but we are looking forward. So we are bringing two countries together through the cultural dimension. Well, that was Alexandra Khali from the Russian embassy saying he's here to see to take part in the National Arts Festival through dialogue with the artists in South Africa. But above all, this is going to open doors for our local artists to go showcase their expertise that side and then vice versa. And as he said, it's all about bringing Russia and South Africa together to promote arts and culture in both countries. It's back to you in studio. Thank you, Lorato. Just for interesting, Hank, before you go, I see there's a lot of uh, kids, and I'm not too sure if they are performers with white faces around you there. Do you know what they are doing? Are they performing there in, at uh, Gravestown? <laughs> No, they're not really performers per se, but they literally stand as statues. And then if you drop money inside their little container, they then change their movement and become something else. So they're the bit of entertainment just before you come into the monument. Just little kids who come from the rural areas or the location who are trying to make a little buck. So they come here, stand as statues, brace the cold. And once you drop money, they then do different moves. <laughs> Well, Lerato, I can see there. There they are behind you. There you can see them there behind you. Look at them there, and they, they'll be doing their thing a little bit later. Interesting, interesting phenomenon. And I can see that you've mastered the, the styles already, Lerato.